Hi everyone, Combat Reviewer here, this time reviewing on the film, Madam Web. Now as you know, yeah, Madam Web is a 2024 superhero film, which was meant to be based on the same character, Madam Web, who appeared in The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 210, as well as being the fourth film in the Sony Spider-Man universe, which starred the actress Dakota Johnson, who was in, in Fifty Shades of Grey as Madam Web. Now, I know that, yeah, Madam Web did get panned by reviews and underperformed by the box office, but the best I can say about it is that it's a good film just trying to handle a basic plot. So the premise of the film is meant to focus on Cassandra Webb, who slowly discovers she has the ability to see possible futures and possible outcomes. And we do kind of see how, yeah, Cassandra kind of learns about her abilities. We kind of see how she sees possible outcomes to what is going to happen what might happen, and I give the film credit, is that it does something with Cassandra Webb's character, with her being a sort of paramedic with with basically Ben Parker, and, and I like how Ben Parker is a bit of a jokester, he's kind of like the go-to guy to Cassandra Webb, and we do kind of see how, yeah, Cassandra, as well as, as well as three other girls, who are basically Julia, Matty Makin, as well as Anya, have to deal with a Ezekiel, who basically hunts them down to prevent to prevent his his future death. And I know that yeah, in the comics, Ezekiel is meant to be a web warrior and meant to be more of a mental. But I like the idea that there's a lot you could do with a villainous counterpart to Spider-Man. And I think Venom has done it, and I feel like, yeah, as well, that the Spider-Man comic which had the thousands done it. But I feel like they waste the sequel's potential there and there because he doesn't feel tragic, he doesn't feel relatable, and he doesn't feel like just there. He does feel feels like more like a sort of a sort of Indiana Jones type villain. I think if they made him the sort of film's take on Morlin, it would have worked a lot more. And you could have done him with this this sort of plague doctor outfit with a magical staff or something. But I think the rest of the film does a good job in showing how, yeah, in our minds, when when we think through the possible outcomes, we always think what could happen if we if we do this? What could happen if we've done that? And what might have happened if we did this? And I think they do try to show how Cassandra Webb has to put herself in Anya, Julia Webb's, as well as as well as being in in sort of Mally shoes. And don't forget, other people aren't you. And sometimes you got to put yourself in other people's shoes to understand what they're going through, what their problems are, their struggles, and what they might need for guidance and hope. But I think the rest of the film feels like this was done on a low cheaper budget, and it feels like, yeah, some scenes were just kind of done cheaply, and some scenes were just put there and there. But I think the rest of the film does a good job in showing how, yeah, Cassandra is trying to understand her sort of future abilities. She's trying to understand if she has spider powers. And they do actually use the Amazon spider, spider warriors that did appear in the Spider-Man comics when Peter volunteered as a refugee to sort uh, as a sort of missionary to help kind of go into a tropical country to deal with two rival clans. And they do sort of do this here with Madame Web. And it shows you that, yeah, Sony can actually do a good film. They just need proper guidance to help figure it out. 
but I feel like the rest of the film feels like a plot from the whole CW Arrowverse show. But I think, like, to me, Madam Web is an okay film. It knows what it's trying to be, it knows what it's trying to figure out, but it's just doing things on a cheaper, lower, and sort of impossible standard budget. So I think this film definitely deserves a thumbs up. It's not bad, not great, but it's still enjoyable. As it shows that, yeah, Anya, Julia and that, trying to get to know each other. We kind of see how Madame Web is trying to kind of figure things out. And we kind of see a villain who is trying to prevent a possible future death to prevent future problems. So it's not bad, it's just being something that I think Sony and the team behind it wanted it to be. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.